Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Joe. Welcome back to SNES's Life. I got my wife Kim sitting with me. Hi, honey. Hello. Uh, tonight we're going to be playing Tetris 2. I remember, I, I mean, I've played Tetris. Have you ever played Tetris 2? I don't heard think of so. It? Well, like, I mean, how many different versions of Tetris have I heard of? I can't keep them all straight. Benji, what up? Thanks. Welcome in. How are you tonight? What are you up to? Uh, so, yeah, Tetris 2. I remember playing. A version of Tetris where there were like little bombs inside the squares. But I think that was like the Game Boy version of Tetris 2. I'd have to really go like look. Um, but, you know, I've never played this one, I don't think. So, cover art is very basic. It is Tetris. I mean, it looks like a Tetris cover. Player's Choice apparently it sold a million copies, so it must have done well. But I don't, I just don't remember it. There's colors. You know how to match whole lot of them. Oh, you're watching the game, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> Sports, Sports ball. ball. <laughs> <laughs> Mesmerizing fun. Tetris returns. The challenge excites, escalates to new heights. Play alone. Challenge friends. Get rid of special flash blocks and wipe out matching color pieces. Uh, pit your brain against the puzzle mode. Tougher Tetris. So we get four screenshots over here. The two-player mode is basically you're each playing in a water tank and there are flashing blocks and if you blow those up it lowers your opponent's water so their blocks fall faster and that's and if you blow up a flashy block yours goes back up and then it can get past mine and lower mine and it's a tug of war type deal is that like a b level or is that just supposed to show like an in-game screen like because you know like Level the B type when yeah. it like has blocks already on there. Is that what that's supposed to be, or is that just supposed uh, to be what someone's the, screen looks the, like? This is just Tetris now in this. Yeah, this but is just what your screen like looks blocks like. Blocks floating. Yeah, there are blocks just kind of out there. It's like B type. Yeah, you're right. It's actually, you know what? Um, and when we get to the instructions, I guess we'll talk about that a little more. It's more like Doctor Mario. Okay. Um, Interesting. I like the single player mode over here. It's got like a beer mug for a thing. I think that's kind of funny, cute. Uh, and then down here, this background art style is real weird. It looks like cartoony, like kid drew it, which maybe you know, I'm did. sure that's supposed to be like a root beer frosty mug. Absolutely, like you you for the Chiefs or the Eagles, there, buddy. Um, we got the manual. You know, the Eagles has an Eagle Scout on their team. Does it? Mm -hmm. How exciting! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here it describes there are flash blocks and there are fixed blocks. Fixed blocks are just ones that like won't move at all. And then the flash blocks are the ones that you're actually trying to blow up. So in two player, the flash blocks are the ones that fill your opponent or move your opponent's water. And then in single player, if you blow up a flash block of a certain color, it blows up all of that color. So if you blow up the red one, it blows up all the reds. So I'm not trying to blow up all the blocks. No. I'm I, only trying to blow I, up the flashy I blocks. I think you just have to blow up the flashy blocks first. It doesn't really explain it super well. Um, but yeah, so here, here's how to play the one-player game. And then over here, it explains... The two-player explains the whole water level going up and down. But it doesn't actually say, like, oh, if you break all your first, you win. Okay. So that's kind of interesting. There are a couple different computer games you can play as far as, like, easy, normal, hard. And then there's a puzzle mode where you get... Uh, the board is like preset up and you get like one piece or like two pieces or something. You have to figure out where to put them to make everything mm -hmm. chain react. Yeah. Uh, so wait, so am I matching colors? Am yes, I... you're still matching colors. So it's more like, like Dr. Dr. Mario. Mario. Yeah. Um, and if you line up three of a color on top of another one, four in a row, it blows up. Okay. So it's very much like Dr. Mario. The big catch on this is the squares sometimes aren't attached to each other. So you'll have like a square and another square that are just like diagonal from each other when it comes down. And when it hits, the one will stop and the other will keep going. Okay. It's hard to explain. You'll get it as soon as we turn it on, I'm sure. Speaking of which, I guess I need to actually like, you know, find it in the menu here. I'm sure you'll stop me at it, so. I don't know. No. It yeah, is, I don't know either. It is funny how that looks on the. Yeah, on the big screen. Screen. Out screen. 
I could cut it to three or a four three ratio, which is what it was built for, but no, it doesn't really bother me. So I kind of like the art style. It's silly, but I don't know. It doesn't look bad. All right, so just start with we'll start with you and me. Well, let's put it to two player. Then. Oh yeah, one versus. Oh, two. I see. I thought that you had to change it up top. Ah. Uh, I guess let's start a medium since we never played it. We'll just start at five. What? Let's listen to the music and... Which one do you want? Tetris is important about music. Frankly, I'm not impressed. Sounds similar to Bomberman. That does, yeah. All of it does. That sounds a lot like Bomber. They all do. <laughs> okay, maybe not this one. I don't like any of these, really. That's unfortunate. Like Tetris in the first game, the two you only had two tracks, but the songs were just awesome. And so was a Dr. Mario, Fever and Chill, man. Not pulling for any team. Watching as a fan of football. Right on. Well, we're not voting for any team either. So. Oh, wait, am I two or one? You're two. You're on the right. This is weird. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the and the block that's there counts as the four. Oh. It's it's the same as Doctor Mario, isn't it? I thought that was how Doctor. Oh, Mario. Is that not how Doctor Mario worked? It is, but I just I guess I thought that it was. It looked like it was three in a row. Oh. Yeah, it's three in a row. Okay, so you're doing combos, which is making my blocks move down faster. Which is a good thing. I mean, it's good for you. You want you want to mess me up, which is not hard to do, frankly. I am like really. These are really messed up blocks. <laughs> I think that's the point, is to be like, have this. It's awful. So the arrows means that I blew up more, like I chained, and so it makes your block come down faster. Okay. That's what the arrows are. Oh my god. This... The fact that the blocks are multicolored is really making it a lot harder than it needs to be. Right? Yeah, the, the multicolored thing is hard oh, as hell to wrap your head around. Shapes too. <laughs> Goodness. If it was like all pills. <laughs> I want my pills. Okay, I need to pay more attention to the fact of what is flashing. I mean, we say that, but I didn't pay any attention to it last round. Well, I was just sucks. like, get rid of all the stuff that's got a plus sign on it. That was really oh, good, but it was, it was gonna fall. 
That was really good on me, but it was totally random and it, like I did not intend to do it. <laughs> Which I think is kind of how this game is probably gonna go. <laughs> it's gonna be like I didn't, I didn't intend to do that awesome thing I just did. Pretty good. Not on purpose, it's just working out for me. So that's interesting, I just noticed. Uh, the piece that's up there in the middle. That's the only piece in the middle. And then it throws it to whoever gets the next piece and the next piece. So we're not getting the same pieces. Okay. I just I, I feel like I remember in the other games like you always got the same pieces. Yeah. In and in this one you very much do not. Maybe there's a Japanese game like this. <laughs> I'm trying to see what Yeah, yeah I missed stuff here. Uh I mean, maybe there's a Japanese game like this. Joe, you going to shit on this one? Okay, there you go. Apparently, I was doing poorly for a minute. I think no, it's, it's. I'm doing poorly. It's cute that it's a fish tank, and when you win, you get a fish in your tank. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, not at all. This might be my new favorite game if I can beat you at it like this. <laughs> yeah, I am kind of awful at this. That's, a, that's all I ever needed to do to beat you at a game is just find something so bonkers goofy that you can't possibly be good at it. I keep th expecting things to fall and they don't fall. <laughs> yeah, it only falls if it's not connected. Which is a little weird and hard to get used to. Seriously? These uh, block blocks are so weirdly shaped. Oh, I thought that was good. I, I feel like the penis brick is probably the, the worst one, honestly. The penis brick? What? <laughs> the one that's got like the two straights and then the two like balls hanging off the bottom. Are you struggling? Yes, because I can't... <laughs> I want things to fall and they're not falling. <laughs>
Watch, look at it. <laughs> no? You're such a guy. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I broke your aquarium. No more water. Player one, with that. Yes or no? I mean, what else <laughs> are we gonna do? Yes. Well, I mean, we can try the single player game and we can try the, the puzzle mode too. See what those are like. Sure. Let's take a look at those. New and pass. We're gonna go new. Oh, I remember when you used to have passwords to get back to where you were. I remember a notebook of passwords on for Tetris. Ah, dinosaurs! I don't like how random everything is. Like, it, you start in like a candy shop. That's what it looked like, like a candy shop with the mug, with the root beer mug, the root beer float. It looked like you were like a, or like a nice cream place. Okay. And then you have an aquarium that you're playing with, fish aquarium, and now we've got dinosaurs and Well, the, the first fries. off, first off, the aquarium is the two, all, all of two player mode is the aquarium. Oh, I know, but you didn't. It didn't show that at the beginning of it, though. I don't know. It's like nothing fits together. <laughs> they should I'm, pick a theme and stick I'm, with it. I'm betting this is the beer mug. Cause you got food there on the table. I bet the beer mug. I don't is think it's a beer mug. Together. It's for kids. I mean, it's clearly got foam coming out of the top. Yes, that's the root beer float stuff. It's a beer mug. Have you ever had a root beer float? All right. So look, it's a puzzle, woman. <laughs> that seemed like a pretty easy. Where does this go? Where's what go? Oh. There, no. No. Yeah, no. Failed. Yeah. I was trying to tell you how it goes. Yeah, no. Go back. Go back. There. Ah, oh, because in puzzle mode, the flash one blows up all of its color. Gotcha. Yeah, put the purple one down. What? Purple one down in the middle. Straight up and down. With the purple one between the purple and the pink one. Ah, gotcha. I think. No, you're right. Because then that rose blows up the pink one, which is blows up the red. Red, yeah. It, it's pink. <laughs> Fairly certain it's red. Alright, where's it go? Let it go down yet? And no, it down. just starts at some stage. I think it's like that. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. Hmm. What's in the background? A dinosaur? A T Rex? Mm, I don't know, it's gotta be. That's gotta be a shitty T Rex, right? And the thing to the left would be like a brontosaur. And then no, it's got a long... There's a baby stegosaur in the middle. He's a goody bitty. Huh. Look, the, the color is even yellow. It's clearly a beer mug. <laughs> clearly alcohol. Okay. Just saying. <laughs> if I went to Jurassic Park, I would totally want to be drunk too. <laughs> I would have put that, yeah, like that. Go over one. Go. Yeah. No, never mind. I thought it was gonna delete all the yellow. It should have. Why did it not? Because the other one's not part of the flashy thing. I don't know. No. Yeah. <clears throat> uh. Okay. Here, you try. Oh, jeez. You can manage this. <laughs> now you get two pieces. I quit at the perfect time. But, I don't think you did it right. I don't think I did either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, 
Yeah, do that. That's not gonna fit. Oh. No, I think I got it. <laughs> Alright, so put it with the red one on top of the red one. Like that. Like this? Nope, this. <laughs> yes, like that. And then put the blue on top of the blue. And the yellow like on this? top of the yellow. Nope, <laughs> other way. There you go. Right there. You got that. It's purple. The Big Dave followed us. Thanks for the follow, Big Dave. Good lord. That. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. <laughs> You're struggling with this. It's weird. I am. You're usually really good at these. I cannot visualize it. That uh, must have been a big day. Must have been a YouTube follow. Oh, yeah, it worked. You have no idea why, <laughs> I do you? I do know You're why. You're like, I guessed. <laughs> but I did guess. I have a hard time seeing all the stuff. Oh, God. Play out. I don't think that's going to do it. Obviously. Do you have to like weave it through to get to I the bottom? Oh god, I hope not. I mean, the flashing blocks are the only way to get rid of everything. It doesn't give you enough time to analyze the board. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't. It gives you like a second. Pause. Like, I need. It, and it oh. does that when you pause it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Are we stuck on level like seven? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it sure as hell appears that way. No, well, that ain't gonna be it. Ugh. I don't get it. I don't either. So here's the thing. Once a block, one, because these ones aren't attached, you can move them afterwards. I did notice that after you placed. Oh shit. I didn't realize I could still move that even smaller one. So can you get that purple one down there? And still keep the yellow one? No. Well, I mean, I probably could have, but I couldn't. That was a really good positioning. A really good positioning. Now I don't even remember what I did. Do you? No. Uh, this game is awful. I mean, the game's not awful. This is why the I never played it, because I like Tetris. <laughs> Rubik's 510. Is that a dick? It's a dick piece! I told you! <laughs> I said it was a penis piece! I'm guessing piece. that's a guy too. Rubes, Rubik's, are you a guy? Because <laughs> I we, were, we started this game and I was like, there's a penis piece. And she's like, what? And I was like, that piece right there. And she's like, it's because you're a guy. <laughs> Please be a woman. Lie and say you're a woman if you are. <laughs> just so I can be like, it's not just me. So, I think... Uh, Can 
you stick that purple one in between, like stick the white and yellow on top. Nope, nope, put one over. I'm gonna say stick the yellow one right on top of that other yellow one and your purple now. Falling through. I just joined, but the first thing I noticed might show where my mind is at. <laughs> Didn't ask the question if it's a guy or not. Some people don't like to say. I mean, that's fair. All right, so what was your thing? Like that, okay. Drop the yellow on top of the yellow that you just placed. Okay. And then slide that purple in. Yeah. Hey, I think we get it. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, what? it didn't. It oh, didn't that get wasn't the... the flashy purple? No, it was just a purple oh, it was purple. Just a regular purple. <laughs> oh, Why is this. But no, that's not what I wanted at all. Like, God damn this puzzle. It frustrates me that this is like seven. This is level seven. And we can't. And we're it. stupid. That's, <laughs> I agree. That's the problem. <laughs> the problem. <laughs> no, clearly not. Uh, so. I feel like the blue one's the one we're having a super hard time. So the blue's got to be a dropper, right? Like, it's got to fall once we get rid of the others. Boom. That gets rid of the reds. And it drops those. Wait, wait. Okay, yes, like that. I think that's it. Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> God damn, that only took 20 attempts. That was round nine. See, okay. we weren't we weren't stuck at seven. Mm -hmm. Oh lord. It's gotta be this one. Tetris. <laughs> and now we've got a TV and someone skiing. <laughs> See, it's so random. I mean, how did that work out? It's a Japanese game. It I feel is. I I'm well. I mean, Tetris is inherent. Well, I guess the original Tetris was a Russian dude, but I don't know. I'm gonna assume this was made mostly by Japanese people. Their culture makes weird shit. That's not a knock on. No, it's just they make weird shit. I feel like I was going the right direction there at the very end. Like it's very, you clearly have to go down that first one, right? There. No. Ah! I was wrong. Go to town. I saw that one. <laughs> Oh, three pieces. Why did it not kill all the other blues? Boo. That's why I did the first time. I think. Yeah, and then I put this one next to it. Yeah, and that didn't work. Yeah, this thing is stuck. It's 
still here lurking. Thanks, Bench. I appreciate you. Who's winning right now? Since we're not watching the game. The one with the team. The one with the team. No shit. <laughs> you don't say. We don't really care. Well, no. But we can fake, fake it. it. <laughs> God damn it. It doesn't give you enough time to like analyze the thing. Not that it matters because we suck at it. That's obviously not going to be right. Two yellows, a blue, and a red. Walk into a bar. <laughs> to look but it doesn't make any sense probably has to do with starting on the right because that gives you two slots to work with instead of one. Yeah, it would make sense if it was like two yellows and then a pink and then a purple. If it, it's all true. Fiddle with it for a minute. I still don't understand why this thing should work. Because it doesn't get, it only gets rid of the other blocks and crosses in them, apparently. I feel like that was a lot closer than we've been, maybe. I don't, Jesus. How long do we try? <laughs> Get in this spot where you can't spin it. Well, now I'm done. It feels like the puzzle isn't as intuitive as it should be. And like maybe that's a we're not smart enough for it thing, but like it, it doesn't feel right, you know? The next time you do that, you go over there and you put the second block all the way over. What do you mean? So you put that one second to the left. Flip it over, flip it over, flip it over. Over, so there, right there. Then you put the other one over all the way and up and down. 
Just, it doesn't mean, all right, let's, we'll look at a different mode, how about that? Oh my god, there's a hundred of them? And we made it to ten. Oh, we made it to eleven, actually, we lost on eleven. That's rough. Yeah. <laughs> Now are we in some sort of weird video phone? I'm confused as to what we're playing in now. You know, it kind of reminds me of like an easel, like a, like a drawing easel. Mm -hmm. I want to say I agree with you. But... See, I think a single player all you have to do is kill the Sparky's blow up the other. Basically, the way two player works. And then the drawer and the refrigerator open up to give you your score. The drawer, the cabinet. Also, what a weird kitchen. You got a TV on the ground in the middle of the kitchen. Like, to the right's clearly a china cabinet, to the left is definitely a refrigerator, right? Sticks you. That like moving the pieces out of the mess. Hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, the single player, once you kind of grog your head around how things work, isn't too hard. The puzzles were just weird and confusing. Though. I don't think I can get good at the puzzles. If you can just concentrate on nothing but the shiny ones. Wait. How are you, buddy? Tetris, yes. Tetris 2 specifically. So it's not bad Tetris, Tetris, Joey. No, mom's not kicking my butt. I'm playing single player right now because I stomped her in two player. Uh, and then we played like the puzzle mode. And the puzzle mode was super confusing. Uh, so now we're just checking out what single player looks like. And I'm definitely going to say that uh, not the best version of Tetris <laughs> by any stretch. I bet there are. I mean, there's there's a video game for everybody, right? I just, I've totally boned this level. Like, super hard. <laughs> yeah, I've... I got distracted by talking to Joey, and then you, and then just completely everything up. I don't even know what I'm doing now. <laughs> Just, I can't. I didn't save state before I started the level. I, could, I guess I could just throw the whole game. God, it's it's this real weird, man. The, the fact that the blocks are multicolored and the colors matter 
It, Joey, it's like a weird mix between Tetris and Dr. Mario, and not a good mix. <laughs> Which means you would probably like it. Yeah, it's very weird. Tetris definitely hit his stride with Tetris 1. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Tetris 1, best Tetris of the series. I like Tetris uh, World. For the 64. Yeah. Yeah, he used to kick my ass down all the time. And I did pretty good on Tetris Party on the Switch. I don't even remember that. <laughs> remember, I, it was like the third time I played it. I got up to like the sixth place. Oh, I'm Tetris 99, oh, yeah. I mean, that's just regular Tetris, though. Well, this. <laughs> Joe's full subscribe. Joey subscribed to me. Thanks, Joey. Have you not already? He subscribed with our Twitch Prime account. What matters there is that I eventually get money out of that. So your, your Amazon Prime account lets you have one free subscription a month to a Twitch channel. Okay. And so he subscribed to us. And every time someone subscribes to me, I get a bit of that. Oh. Until it adds up to an amount of money, $100, and then they actually send you the money that you earned. I need some yellows to clear some yellows, which is kind of annoying. Like, I heard you got to need yellow. Here's some yellow for yellow. There we go. Whee! I actually really enjoyed Tetris Effect on the Oculus. Yes, Tetris Effect on the Oculus was pretty cool. I played that and finished it. I don't think your mom's ever played no, it. No, I either. haven't. It, I mean, it's just I Tetris like with use, pretty backgrounds. But I like to use my controllers. Well, I mean, that's a like, controller. I need my control pad and my A and my B to rotate my pieces. I mean, but you don't. You have A and B and your control, well, your control pad's a joystick. There's no getting I around that. I hate the joystick. I mean, okay, I guess. I mean, I guess hair. I could try it. You should I try it, because it's, it's a fun version. It's just a pretty version of Tetris. I've been playing Beat Saber and been trying to beat all the Jimmy's scores. <laughs> and how's that going? Not too bad. <laughs> That's because he's not playing. He's not actually studying and doing school stuff, I think. <laughs> well, that's good. He should be doing school stuff. Good job doing school stuff. Not, I mean, I don't, I can't say that's what he's doing. I, was, I don't think he's playing these <laughs> That's fair. I wonder when the last time he even played as Oculus was. I was hoping I could beat our cousin, my cousin Sarah. But... I don't think Sarah actually plays. I think that's her boyfriend's thing. Husband? Hus oh, that's right. They're married now. Yes, I think that's just her husband. Because I remember when she asked me about this, the referral thing. She said it was for him. So I don't know if she even plays it. I mean, I'm going to give this a thumbs down, I think, in general. Uh, did you get 1098, Mom? Yes. Yes, we got it. Yes. Oh, that, yes. Yes, yes, tax form. Also, how's Louis been doing driving? Uh, he's okay. I, I don't think he's doing bad, but today's the first day that I made him, like, drive on the road road, and he was not a big fan of that. <laughs> and he was doing okay until someone got behind him at a stop sign that required him to, like, cross traffic. And then he killed it, like, three times, and it, it clearly hurt his confidence a little. <laughs> As terrified as I was or no um I don't remember how terrified you were honestly were you terrified I don't I don't remember it's not that I don't want to remember I can't My memory's garbage he is excited to drive but he's I, the problem is I suck. I, I, 
I do too. <laughs> it's just, and here's the thing, like, I'm sure you could get good at this version of Tetris if this was like your thing, right? But it's not my thing. And as such, it's very, very difficult to be like, I got this. Give me, God, give me a better piece. Jim and Nilly. That'll work. <laughs> That's what I was aiming for. I was trying to hit it from the side there. Oh, there's still more. Oh, there's one down there, like, super buried. I don't like this game. I don't either. That's a bummer. I was terrified. You didn't make it better. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Your dad has a lot more patience than he did. To be fair, when you're learning ago. stick and someone gets behind you, it is... Yeah, no, I totally... Got it. Like, I understood. <laughs> the Yoshi one? That was Yoshi's cookie. Oh, yeah. Did you play Yoshi's cookie? I did. Yeah, that's we played but that you together. kicked my butt at that. I mean, that was a good that was a Because you're puzzle faster. Game, you're a faster button pusher than I am. I so have, you like... I have faster twitch reaction. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call this one a thumbs down. I just... I, it sold a million copies, but selling a million Where? copies does not mean... Yeah. Selling a million copies doesn't mean it's a good game. And it's really just not. It's not fun. It's It feels way too much like work. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm putting way too much effort into just trying to not... And I do. I clearly suck. It, if the blocks were one color, it would be easy. It's the fact that they come... Some of them come down with three colors on them. It's just like, where the f*** are you supposed to put that? It's so confusing. I'm not happy about it. Shibi Inu, hola, play some Dr. Mario. That's Louie, by the way. <laughs> I know. I, couldn't, I didn't know if you'd remember. I know who she is. I don't think the color would really change anything for me. I don't know, man. I don't think it would change anything for me either. It's. I think the pieces are weird. And I don't like the fact that you're only focusing on certain blocks as opposed to on all the blocks. Yeah. Well, I mean, that part lot. of it... That part of it's like Dr. Mario. You're just aiming for the viruses. You don't care about the other stuff. It's always... But they give you viruses to start. They don't give you other stuff to start. Well, yeah, that's fair. The it's all viruses. Your pills. <laughs> yeah. Not a fan. Not a great game. I don't... No. No, I didn't really want to start again. No, stop! No, there's no out. It's only 8.50. We've ruined it. Well... We'll cleanse our palate with a little Dr. Mario. You How could about play that? Regular Tetris. Uh, well, I mean, shit. Where is it? it was Tetris Dr. Oh, there it was. Oh, I'm like, it's got to be like right there. What is Tetris Attack? That is one that Joey was decent at. I was shit at it. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Maybe. What do you think, Joey? <laughs> Uh, so this one, again, you're trying to match three. Nintendo! Nintendo! Let's play together. <laughs> Let's go play! What's your favorite Mario character? I do love Yoshi. Everyone loves Yoshi. If they don't love Yoshi, they suck. This is the one I was talking Are you sure? I didn't even remember that Yoshi was on this one. I'll just show you how it works out and then go from there. I like Yoshi's Cookie way better than this. All right, so you've got the little grabby thing and it swaps pieces. Oh, I did play this. I do like the music. 
Go to town. Jeez. I also like the little cartoon Yoshi. <laughs> it's not like they do much. The one on the right blinks a little. And I guess the one on the left blinks as well. It does prove that like Yoshi for sure wears boots though, which is weird. I never understood that part. What do you mean for sure wears boots? It was like he's got boots. I don't know, some people. I, I always in the original game I think I thought they were just feet. I'm sure I almost beat the single player mode on this. Huh? Possibly. I don't remember. Did we play this for stream? I don't remember if we played this for stream or not. I feel like this was a late release for the Super Nintendo. Maybe we played it for something else, like the 24 hour or something. This is so slow. Well, I had it set to slow speed. Would you like to reset it and set it fast? No. Uh, Tetris Attack. Yeah, released in North America in 1996. This was like a super late release. I don't know if we reviewed it, but I've definitely played it on the stream at least once. We must have played it for something else. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to make it faster? <laughs> Hold select and hit B. Uh, That's the reset. Nintendo! 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 <laughs> Let's play together under the clearest of blue skies. Well, at least it's all revolving around one theme. <laughs> I mean, that's that's fair. Do we need to vote on the other one and give our Oh, I'm thumbs points? down. No, I know, but all of the other stuff that you talk about. Uh, the visuals were okay. I liked the art style. I know you didn't care. For I, d it. I didn't mind the art style. Okay. I didn't like the fact that it was all over the place. It's kind of random ass. <laughs> I thought the art style was fine. I did not care for the music. For a Tetris game, it totally fell flat on the music front. I agree. And then... Uh, the gameplay I didn't care for either, frankly. Did you pick puzzle mode? No. I usually don't like puzzle mode. I know that sounds odd for someone who really likes puzzles, but... What did you pick? Clear the stage. Oh. Uh, Looks like it's going to be slow again. Yeah. Assuming you ever get to a higher level, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna take 900 years to get to that level, apparently. It didn't have an option for me to make it faster. No, I don't think it did. Oh, there, it's going up speed level here. That's a speed level three now. Really Is it even? I wonder if it's even really possible to like clear this thing out. I mean, I guess if you get the right draw of random stuff, you can, right? Yeah. I think you'd almost have to let it get higher so you could, like, chain down instead of across. I think RB raises the level forcefully if it's taking too long. Yeah, see, I don't really care for the music in this one either, but at least it's catchy. And I love it's colorful. I love color in these old games. And this one is very colorful. There's no doubt about that. The artwork's cute. And the music's okay. So, I like this game well enough. I actually own it. I have the physical of this one. And I don't think I got it because I liked it. I think I got it because it was super cheap. And it was when I was just starting to collect shit. So I was like, oh, that looks... I'm like, that's probably a solid game. I did it. Hey, me too. <laughs> yeah! Look at a little dancey yo. She's like, yeah! You did so good! It looks like it's a baby Yoshi, and the other Yoshi's trying to keep the egg from it. For know? sure. Keep away. Yeah, I'll say he's being a douche and keep it. <laughs> Which in Mario World, Yellow Yoshi's the ground pounder. He's the far Yoshi. So, big Yoshi needs to watch out for some of that nuclear warfare. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Nice. 
<laughs> Except now you've just got shit kind of sitting there. Red spits fire. Blue breathes on. No. No. All the Yoshis breathe underwater, home skillet. Blue Yoshi flies. <laughs> when you eat an egg, you get wings. Red spits fire. Yellow does ground pound. Green is regular Yoshi who poops one up. Balloon Yoshi? There is no balloon Yoshi. You know how when he eats the. Doesn't he eat something and he like bubbles up? Mario does. Oh. He turns into it's a pea balloon, it's a puff balloon, and you're all like fat and you're like and you float around for a little while till you run out of air and then you fall down pits and die. In the new Mario games, Pink Yoshi is the balloon one. The new which which new Mario? Game? <laughs> You don't get Yoshi in Mario Odyssey. You talking like a new one of the new Super Mario Bros? Or I mean Yoshi was in Galaxy too, but I don't think he changed colors. I don't remember. Look up Balloon Yoshi on Google. I mean I believe you. I just I'm curious what game you're talking about. Yoshi. Magenta, magenta colored Yoshi from Mario Brothers U. So the one, it's apparently the one on the Wii U, the one that nobody has played because nobody played on the Wii U. <laughs> yeah! Wait, how did I clear that one? I have no idea. Is there a specific number of If there is, it doesn't things? seem to indicate it. I don't know. Confused. I don't get it either. Right. <laughs> yeah, time on the left. Oh, maybe you just said stop. Why do you stop? I don't know. Weird. I don't know. Oh god, Joey typed them all. According to a Google search, <laughs> there's six colors of Yoshi in Super Mario World. Green Yoshi can spit fire, the blue Yoshi can fly, the yellow Yoshi is extra fast, the pink Yoshi has a powerful ground pound attack, the red Yoshi can breathe fire, and the white Yoshi is immune to all obstacles. Well, I guarantee you that's not in Super Mario World, because Super Mario World is the one for the Super Nintendo. So, it, it's got to be the Super Mario Wii U, or Deluxe, or whatever. Because the original Mario World for a Snooper Nintendo just had like the four. Green, yellow, blue, red. Although now I am interested to go play it. I'll have to look for that on the Wii U. Just to experience the multicolored Yoshis. I thought he was going to tell you to Wikipedia. No, he Wikipedia did, obviously. <laughs> it looks like he straight copied it out of Wikipedia. Did he change it first? I don't know. No, he probably <laughs> typed it, but Wikipedia would have gone way further more into it than that, so he, he probably got it right. Uh, I guess just when the clear line comes up, and as long as you get under that, maybe, that's when you finish. So you just have to kill everything above the line that says clear. Yeah, I guess so. ideally you don't have to kill everything, you just have to move it all into the line. Yeah, that's it. Yeah! So you have to survive till clear comes and then get under it. That makes a little more sense. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we're done for the night if you're ready to be done. This one is a lot more fun than the other <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I agree. Yeah, Tetris 2 is a thumbs down, unfortunately. Wasn't that great. It was a little disappointing. Happens. Uh, let's see. It's Wednesday night. It's Wednesday night. I got Disney's The Jungle Book, The Incredible Hulk, Mr. Nuts, which is apparently a squirrel. I feel like that's... I bet you that's a rare. I bet that's like a precursor to Conquer. Oh, God, no. It's Ocean. It's going to be awful. 
the game developer. Almost all the ocean games have been atrocious. Fun and games. Paint, games, music, and style. It's... There's apparently a third-party, like, super generic Mario paint that is coming up, too, this week. Uh, and God, it looks awful. I'm tempted. I mean, I'm at the play this some point. I'll save that for Saturday night when I want to quit or play <laughs> Resident Evil. I think Wednesday I'll probably do the Jungle Book just for grins. But, uh, yeah, that'll be it for tonight. Benj, thanks for hanging out. If you're still in there lurking... Shibi Inu, Joe Skull, thanks. And then uh, Rubix510, if you're still lurking in there too, thank you for watching tonight. Anybody who watches later on VOD or on YouTube, thanks a lot. We appreciate y'all. That'll be it for tonight. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> bye.